We know you love the Haunted Mansion. We do too. And we're sure that if it's not your favorite ride in Disneyland, at least it's on your top three. It occupies a special place in our hearts and our minds. So in honor of this great attraction, Fast Pass Facts would like to share 10 facts that you need to know about this great ride. At first, the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland was planned to be a walk-in kind of ride, like a classic haunted house. The project took the name of Ghost House, and the initial location of the attraction was at the end of Main Street. Ezra, Phineas, and Gus are the names of the hitchhiking ghost, but of course, you already knew that. That creepy ghost host that welcomes us foolish mortals to the ride is none other than Paul Fries, who also voiced characters like Professor Ludwig von Drake and the famous skull that warns us that dead men tell no tales on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Another personal favorite, by the way. Goblins and ghoulies of last Halloween, awaken your spirits with your tambourine. Sounds familiar? You guessed it. That's Madame Leota, who was voiced by Eleanor Audley, the actress who also voiced Lady Tremaine in Cinderella and Maleficent in Sleeping Beauty. In 1969, the cost of the Haunted Mansion was around $7 million, which is equivalent to $45 million today. Ghosts are definitely really expensive. The Hatbox Ghost is a favorite among us doom bugs everywhere, and we are all so happy since his return on May 9th, 2015. But do you know the real reason why he was removed in the first place? Some people say that he had to be taken out because he was so scary, but the real reason is that the disappearing, reappearing head effect couldn't achieve the desired effect at the time, so he had to be removed. The carriage that will carry you into the moldering sanctum of the spirit world is called a doom buggy, as our ghost host creepily reminds us at the start of our tour. The only way of getting out of the mansion is to become a happy haunt. And according to one of the most popular fan theories, that's exactly what we do. Remember when you were in the attic and then the doom buggy turns backwards and goes down? Supposedly, we are going out the attic window. That's why before this, the ghosts are trying to scare us. But after we become one of them and they greet us and invite us to a party with them. The Haunted Mansion is the only ride that is located in different lands depending on the park it is on. It's rumored that there's 999 ghosts in the mansion, but as we know, there's always room for one more. Howdy, partners! Get ready to learn some facts about the wildest ride in the wilderness. Fast Pass Facts brings to you five facts you need to know about Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is said to be set in a 19th century gold mining territory, and because it's Disney, the ride is full of authentic artifacts found in abandoned mines in Colorado, Nevada, Minnesota, and Wyoming. There's even a century-old stamp mill. Do you know the story behind this ride? We'll tell you all about it. During the gold rush, gold was discovered inside Big Thunder Mountain, so many people decided to move near it and founded the Rainbow Ridge Town. The townspeople installed a mine train to transport the gold, but they didn't know the Big Thunder was a sacred ground for local Indian tribes. The spirit of Big Thunder Mountain was not happy with the mine, and so the mining company and the town started suffering accidents like earthquakes and cave-ins. The trains also started moving by themselves as if they were possessed, so the people got scared and decided to abandon the haunted mine. Spooky, right? Here's a cool fact. Did you know that the sounds of the tracks in BTMR were recorded to be used as sound effects for a movie? Want to know which one? Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So next time you are watching the minecart sequence, you'll be hearing Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Before the wildest ride of the wilderness appeared, there used to be a ride called Mine Train through Nature's Wonderland. In 1979, it became Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, but it kept some things from the previous ride as a tribute. Some of the animals stayed, the town of Rainbow Ridge at the Lode area stayed also, and the colorful caverns are an ode to the old Rainbow Caverns that used to be in this ride. The names of the six trains are You Are Courageous, I Am Brave, I Am Bold, You Are Fearless, I Be Hardy, and You Are Daring. Ahoy mateys! We all have a villain inside of us, and some of the most fun villains are pirates. And we know that we all want a pirate's life. And so, to bring us a little closer to getting it, Fast Pass Facts brings us five facts you need to know about the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Pirates of the Caribbean is one of the favorite rides of Disneylanders. 
It has had more than 311 million guests since it opened in April 1967. Actually, more people have rode this attraction than any other in Disneyland. Captain Barbosa would be proud. Just as the Haunted Mansion, the ride was thought to be a walkthrough kind of ride, including stores, restaurants, and, at the end, a wax museum. But when Walt visited the 1964 World Fair, he saw all of the technological advances and went crazy. So working with the Imagineers, they were able to incorporate the animatronic tech to the wax statues, bringing them to life. Eight million dollars were spent to create this jolly ride. It's almost half of the total cost that was spent creating New Orleans Square, which cost 18 million dollars. That's a lot of doubloons. Walt was really excited about this ride. So, to get the final approval, the Imagineers rigged a chair up to a dolly and pushed him through the attraction at the same speed the boat would go. He loved it. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to ride it when it was ready because he passed away three months before the opening day. Want to know a creepy secret? Before the ride was open, Imagineers weren't too pleased with the quality of the fall skeletons. So, what was the solution? They decided to use real bones. They asked the UCLA Medical School for them, and they provided them. Imagineers positioned the skeletons in the classic poses that we love today. After some time, they were replaced with dummies. But legend has it that one real skull remains. Look for the pirate that is cozily resting on a bed. Do you see the headboard with some bone decorations? Those are real. Creepy, right? We've all got our favorite rides, and we can't deny that the Matterhorn Bobsleds is one of them. This mountain is a place full of secrets and interesting things to know. So, following our tradition, Fast Pass Facts brings to you five facts you need to know about the Matterhorn. Since its grand opening on 1959, the Matterhorn has stood tall, separating Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. So tall, in fact, that it's the highest place in all Disneyland. Actually, it was built to one 100th scale go of the real mountain. It has been said that in one of his many visits to Switzerland, Walt Disney fell in love with the real Matterhorn Mountain. He bought a postcard from a near souvenir shop and mailed it to Imagineer Vic Green. It said, Vic, build this, Walt. And so he did. And that's how we came to have this amazing ride. The Matterhorn was the first roller coaster in the world to use a tubular street track and an electronic dispatch system, which allows more than one car at a time to be on the track. Remember that cool splashdown that we enjoy at the end of the ride? Well, it's not meant only for us to have a refreshing break from the heat, but also it has an important job. That little pool acts as a brake and cool down for the car's brakes. Cool, right? Did you know that Harold the Yeti was not always part of the Matterhorn bobsleds? He took up residency in the early 1970s after Imagineers decided that the ride needed a major refurbishment. He can be seen twice on either track. Both tracks see the same Harold at the beginning of the ride, but when they separate, each track can see its own individual Yeti. Harold roams the mountain waiting for his next victim, so be careful or he might get you. That's it for today, but don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Also, tell us in the comments section what else would you like to know about any ride at Disneyland.